agency. So today we'll be reviewing Inflow. So this is a new uh, software for OnlyFans, perfect for agencies uh, wanting to keep track of everything they're, that they're doing or creators that want to keep track of their account and their statistics. So to start off, when you get onto the platform, the first thing that you see on the homepage is your earnings, uh, your total earnings for the week, uh, for the last day, month, etc. Also for subs, tips, posts, if you have a free page, referrals, messages, and also streams if you do that. On this side, you can actually see your scheduled shifts. This is regarding your chatters if you have some. I uh, will get into that uh, more in detail later. And as well as chatting uh, earnings, you can actually keep track of that as well, plus how many hours the chatters that you have currently working have worked. So first of all, when you just uh, download the, the application, you'll be greeted with the creator management screen. This is where you'll add all your OnlyFans profiles depending on how many you have. So you click on add creator, you would add uh, basically a picture of your creator, you would write their name, uh, their gender, uh, any notes if you have some, plus you would assign whoever employees you want to assign to account, you would click confirm, and then it would pop up uh, right here. Uh, then you would click on rebind or bind in this case. And then from there, uh, you would then sign into the OnlyFans profile to officially activate it. And depending on how many uh, staff you added to the account, it would show right here. So back to where the magic really happens would be in the OF manager, manager tab. So as you can see, you can pretty much access every, um, every tab that you would usually access on your OnlyFans. However, you can just do that directly from uh, the software. So as you can see, you can access your profile, you can access your messages, your vault, everything pretty much. And from there, another feature regarding the messaging uh, that's pretty similar to other um, chatting software tools that, that are on the market. As you can see right here, you can actually see how long you've been subbed, how much in tips, messages, how much has been spent, if their renew is on and off, um, their buy rate. So pretty much if they if you sent out 10 PPVs, what is the percentage of PPVs that they actually buy? Is it 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 1 out of 10? And as well as a PPV timeline that would show a graph of basically each sale, uh, whether you're upscaling them and how many they bought. So that's a nice feature right there. You also have a custom emoji keyboard just like on a macbook or whatever so you have access to that which is awesome and if you click this button right here you can actually set preset your emoji keyboard that would pop up right here so when you're chatting you can quickly access it and also a great tool for those who us who struggle with their grammar spelling is they have grammarly built in so let's say i write something like this right uh, obviously I wrote it wrong, so it would correct me, see unknown word. So let's see if I change it to this, you see, I messed up as well. Now accept, boom, already corrected that for me, which is nice. So that's a great feature there. So diving into actual, uh, reports. So you have your creator report. So this is where you uh, keep track of your reports daily, uh, by week, by month, uh, etc. You can also tr keep track of your percent right here of how where your income is pretty much coming from. And you can also keep track of each profile that you have and how much you're earning from those profiles. So you can see how many creators, uh, if you have any chargebacks, net and gross. And if you go here, you can actually dive deep into each profile that you have and actually see what's going on there. Same thing with chatter reports. You can actually check if your chatters are actually doing a good job or not, how many hours they're working and how, how many shifts. And with fan report, you can actually keep track of uh, all your fans, how many new fans you're getting and how many fans are actually keeping the renewal on. So that's very important to track to see what your subscription renewal is looking at in terms of your fan retention. And down here, you would see all your top fans, how much they spent and how long they've been subscribed. 
Then when you come here into smart tags, this is regarding pretty much like another software that some people may know. Uh, you can actually set minimum prices for when you're sending out mass PPVs and based on uh, whatever class you set uh, these prices, these target prices at, it would class your uh, uh, subscribers based on how much they spent. So let's say people with a $1 sign spent less than $10, $2 signs is between $10 and $50. And anybody who spent over $50, they're considered uh, a triple tier spender. So you would see all your subscribers out, uh, right here. And also you can even include expired fans. And auto follow. So auto follow is pretty uh, explanatory. You can auto follow expired fans. What's the purpose of this? The purpose is pretty much so that you can actually keep sending out mass DMs to those fans so that you can actually try to persuade them. Well, your child is, uh, as well, they can do this as obviously. Uh, you'll try to persuade them to either come back to sub or you can actually try to sell them content um, that way as well, even though they're already ex expired. And a great thing that you could do as well is simply uh, add them to your list when you're sending out mass PPVs. Since they're already expired, you don't really care if uh, if it looks spammy because they already left. So if they end up even buying any PPVs that you send out, then it's, it's a bonus in that case. All right. So employee management. So this is where you would manage. This is pretty much how you would add all your employees, your chatters, your account managers, your partner, etc. This is where uh, you would do that. So you would go into here, you would add your employee name, you would add their address right here, their address, you would add them to what group you want to put them in. And from there, you would choose their role, either a team leader, admin, chatter, uh, or a custom role that you can make. So from here, how it works is uh, once you basically add them, they would receive an email uh, directly with uh, a link to download Inflow and create their own password so that they can access Inflow itself. And once they log in, they're automatically uh, in the uh, in your Inflow. And based on whatever creators you've assigned to them, uh, they will automatically see them in the uh, OF manager section right here, which is great. And then when we get to shift schedule, so if, before you do that, right, uh, just regarding the roles, this is where in role permissions, this is where you would pretty much, pretty much uh, set all your permissions for your custom roles, whatever. As you can see here, you can choose what they can actually see and what they can't see. Uh, then also you would go into shift settings. So this is where you would actually create your shifts. So as you can see, I have two shifts right here. You could create a third ones from like 2 a.m. to 6 uh, a.m. pretty much. That way uh, you have 24 seven coverage in that case. So once you do that, you would go back here to employee shift schedule. And this is where you would set up uh, based on how many careers you have. As you can see here every day, you have your shifts right here. So you would pretty much click here, the date, the shift time, which creator that you have, and then you would add which employee you want to work. And based on how many uh, accounts that one employee has, you can just click this and pretty much it would add uh, a shift block for each creator that he's currently working with. And if you go into shift history, you can keep track of basically your employees, what they did in their shift, et cetera. You can actually see how much they've made per shift uh, in uh, earnings, uh, just so they can keep track of what they're doing, how, how well they're performing, which is great. And that pretty much goes through the main parts of inflow. So when you get to billing, so this, this is pretty much where you would go through your pricing, check your invoices, your payment status, et cetera. So how much does it actually cost to use Inflow, right? So it's actually priced per creator and the lowest price would be $40 per month. And this would be if you have a creator making less than $1,000 per month, right? And it goes all the way to $250 per month per account. And that's only if uh, your creator is making 30 k per month or higher. So meaning, it, let's say you have five accounts all making over 30K per month. Uh, that means you would pretty much spend $1,000 in sub prices 
uh, just to use Inflow. But based on when you're at that amount, then it's up to you whether or not you think it's worth it or not. Uh, just considering all the features that the platform has at the moment and how you can pretty much have everything in one spot. Uh, and honestly, it's up to you to see how you how you feel about that. So Wallet, this is regarding the affiliate program. So if you go right here, you can actually get 10% commission on any agencies that you refer for their first year sub subscription. So you would have your link right here. You could track your earnings, see what's available pending. And same thing goes with if you invite a creator, you actually get 20%, but it's currently uh, still coming soon. And right here, you can actually track um, your referrals. So that pretty much goes through everything regarding Inflow. A very, another great feature that they have is that they actually have their own proxies when it comes to adding accounts. So you can actually either use their proxies, which is typically based in the US, or you can click here, use custom proxy and add uh, whatever custom proxy that you have. Let's say you have a creator in Germany and you want to keep her profile Germany based, then you could just ask your German proxy right here and keep it in the application. So there's no issue there. So you also have system notifications uh, that you can add, personal info, et cetera. So that goes pretty much to everything regarding uh, just Inflow as a platform. Uh, here's their website right here. So pretty much since uh, there's still, you know, uh, you actually can't get the software uh, just right out the gate. You actually have to join a, a wait list. And this wait list, you would add your agency name, email, how many creators that you're currently working with, agency website, and your socials. And from there, you would send it. And then you would pretty much wait until they contact you via email uh, to let you in. However, if you use my referral code, you actually get access to a two-week uh, free trial. Plus, you actually kind of skipped, you actually skipped the waiting line in terms of when you get you can actually get access to the software so that's actually a, a nice perk if you use uh, my referral so that's completely up to you guys if you want to do that so that pretty much goes through inflow uh overall if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments and i'll try to get to it and thank you for watching